Welcome to this overview of integrating Yammer in SharePoint using Yammer Embed. This is a uh, supplemental material for um, a session that myself, Eric Overfield, and Naomi Moneypenny did for Ignite 2015. In particular, for session BRK3201 on Thursday afternoon um, of 2015. In this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to take a Yammer embed feed and we're going to go ahead and include that into uh, a SharePoint Online site. We're also going to take social gestures such as the like, follow, and share buttons and we will include those onto a page as well just using Yammer embed. How we're going to get started here, uh, one of the easiest ways to do to get a, uh, a the Yammer embed code is to go directly to your Yammer network and find the group uh, or group feed that you may want to include. Uh, once the group feed loads, which we see here, on the right hand side there's going to be a link that says embed this group um, to your site. And if you click on this, what's going to happen is uh, Yammer is going to give us this, uh, HT, uh, this JavaScript code, basically HTML JavaScript code that we can use to embed this particular, uh, this particular feed. Now don't worry, we're going to be able to customize this JavaScript in a little bit. So this is just a great way to get the basic code that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that into a, uh, a script editor web part on our sample page here so that we can we have a, a place to start um, storyboarding out what we want on this specific feed. Alright, so I'm going to scroll down to where I want the web part to go. I'll click on add a web part. And the web part I'm going to add, as I mentioned, is the, the script editor web part. I find that to be one of the easiest web parts uh, to add our HTML into that HTML JavaScript. Once that web part has been added, we can go ahead and edit the script and we'll just go ahead and paste what uh, Yammer already gave us just to get started here. Okay, now we want to configure this. We don't really want the uh, embed feed that they provided here. Let's say I don't want the group. I want to add the uh, my feed instead. So what you can do is we can go to the uh, Yammer embed uh, widget configuration tool, yammer.com slash widget slash configure, and that brings up our, um, our the configuration tool that we can now use to create a my feed. Now I want to go ahead and set some extra parameters here. One of them I want to set is the network uh, permalink. Uh, that's going to be your network ID. What this makes sure is that let's say I was logged into multiple different uh, Yammer networks or different accounts by setting your specific network permalink you're going to make sure that when a user goes to your portal that they're going to get the my feed from this specific network permalink. Uh, that um, and you know, definitely be helpful in groups as well. If you want to change the uh, custom prompt text, that's the text to the right. You can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and keep the my feed. If you had a specific feed ID, you could um, you could get that here. You could put that here. Uh, what you could do to get that feed ID is if you go to your uh, specific group feed, uh, and let's say we want to go to the engineering feed, and we scroll to the right, we can get up in the URL. We can get the feed ID of an actual specific feed that we want to may, may want to put in here. Let's go back to the configuration tool. Uh, default to canonical. This is an option you'll oftentimes want to set. Basically what this will make sure is that anytime I put in content into this prompt text area, uh, say a user put in content, that that, that uh, post will in fact go back to the canonical network and will not, which was basically it's your, it's your network permanently, and it won't go to any other group I may be logged into. Uh, use single sign-on, most likely true. We can show the header, that's the header at the top. We can show a footer, which if we um, scroll down to the bottom, should be down here. Oop, I have to scroll down here. Uh, the footer down here. We can also just, we can have the header, but we can he hide the network name in the header if we want. Uh, and then if we go ahead and click Apply Changes, what's really cool is we now have some new code for us uh, down at the bottom. What we can do now is we can copy this code, go back to our SharePoint site, and replace the script code uh, that we got from that other feed. Go ahead and paste that in. Now the value of doing all this was um, it helped me get this extra script tag that I need to, to be able to uh, include embed. This is the actual JavaScript that um, Yammer provides. And they also even created a, a initial div for me, which is kind of nice. One of the things you will need to make sure is that the ID that is provided in this top container div, this is where Yammer embed is actually going to insert its, um, uh, its embed feed. You want to make sure that's the same ID as the container I, that you find at the bottom. So if you happen to change this container ID, 
down the bottom. You just want to make sure that you make the div uh, have the same ID. Now, there's a height and a width specified here. You may or may not want that to. Um, uh, you may or may not want that. That's just out of the, out of default. So what one thing you can do though, one thing that I think is really valuable is you can go ahead and set a height. Maybe 500 or 800 pixels is too much. I'm going to change that to 400. But something else I find is really powerful is if you take the width and you make it 100%, uh, you, you turn this into a pretty responsive, friendly process. Uh, and we'll see that and once we insert it, how this actually ends up working pretty well so that your uh, Yammer feed will always fill up the box that it's in. Don't forget, we've mentioned before that at 400 pixels, uh, or less than 400 pixels, the Yammer embed feeds goes into skinny mode, which is just a different um, layout. So it's something that you may want to consider, though, if you do want to hard assign an actual width. As soon as I click on insert, uh, I can now go ahead and save my page. And in the upper right hand corner, we'll see what we expected. We will get our Yammer feed. Not too bad, it's my my feed. And I can go ahead and say what I'm working on. And I can go ahead and click on post. We'll see it's been added. Now if we go back to Yammer, and we go back to our home, I should see that my post is automatically added. All right, so next up what I want to do is I want to add some social gestures. So here I have this team site, this collaboration site, it's a project site, and I want to go ahead and make sure that I can uh, like, or I can have users like it, share it, and or follow it. So how might we do that? Well, let's go to the documentation provided uh, over at Yammer. That's the the best way I find to get this documentation is just do a Bing search on uh, Yammer developer documentation, and you'll find this uh, documentation. It's one of the top links. On the left-hand side under Yammer Embed, there is a Open Graft Buttons. Uh, if you click on Open Graft Buttons, you will get the code necessary to uh, add your like and your uh, follow button. It's very simple JavaScript code. This is uh, basically the same JavaScript code uh, that you saw, or very similar to the JavaScript code that we saw for the actual embed. Um, we still are going to need that wrapping div, and we're still going to need that uh, script tag. Uh, if you ever get lost on where to find that, if you ever, um, uh, if you weren't adding the a group feed or something, if you just go to uh, embed feed you will find at the top of the sample uh, embed feed, you'll find a sample script tag as well as a div that you could use to copy and paste this into a, a specific, um, a specific uh, uh, web part or whatnot. So let's go ahead and we're going to edit this page. And we're going to add ourselves a follow, like, and share buttons. While this is loading, something to think about. You don't have to add this via a web part, uh, including feeds. You could hard code these into your master pages and page layouts, depending upon what your specific requirements are. So there's no need to, to require users to have to add all this. If you set your site up pr properly, you could do this all. Uh, you could have this all automated for your content authors. So I'm going to go ahead and add a web part. I'm going to add my script editor again. Now I'm going to just copy and paste the code. It'll be a little easier and a little quicker here. So I'm going to copy some code and I'll paste it in. Uh, let me show you one other thing that I have in this code. Uh, under social actions uh, on the documentation, that's where you'll find the Yammer share button. And we'll find that this code's a little different. There's a div needed. Uh, and then after that, there's a different script that's needed, as well as yet a different type of uh, JavaScript function needed to actually add a share button. Let's go back to our demo and let's go look at the sample code that I've got. First things I'm doing is I'm loading the two specific uh, JavaScript files needed, the embed and the social button JavaScript files. I'm then setting three different div containers, and this is where our like, follow, and share buttons are going to be placed. The like and the follow can have their own specific ID if they want, whereas the share button must use this share ID as of this time. I'm providing some inline styling to basically make sure that these blocks, uh, these buttons all float left, they all float next to each other, and I'm providing some widths to make sure that they uh, have enough space. So the Yammer embed is using an iframe to actually make all this content work, to make all these actions work, which is one of the reasons why embed is difficult to customize um, because everything is stored in an iframe. But it helps to have all this set up so that we pr can provide the containers we need uh, with the styling we need. You could always include these styles, and I would highly recommend including these type of styles into a custom style sheet so that your content authors and site owners don't need to know this. But for here, for demos, this is just easier to show. If we scroll down, we'll see our script now. Now we see our custom button, so I'm adding a like here. My action is like. 
I've specified my network as well as the container I want that to go into. That's my HTML div container. Same with the uh, follow button. Very simple, similar except my action and my uh, container are different. And then at the end I have my share button. I will go ahead and insert that. I will go ahead and stop editing. And we will now see that my like, follow, and share button are already included. Now what's kind of cool here is I've already followed this button before. I've excuse me, I've already followed this page before, and we can see we already say that it's being followed. If I want to go ahead and I like this page, I like it, and I can go ahead and unfollow, and that will be stored over in Yammer on what I'm doing with this. That's our demo on how to use embed to integrate uh, Yammer functionality into SharePoint. There will be a second demo on how we could replace these kind of components uh, with our uh, some semi-customer custom Visual Studio web part, uh, Visual Studio based uh, web parts or app parts uh, for making this easier for content authors. Thank you for joining us.